Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live, and I'm here to create two mini canvases, four by four canvases with like a um, face on them. And I'm just gonna turn the video around. Welcome everyone, and I'm just gonna turn the video around so you guys can see what I'm gonna be making. Oops, maybe the other way around. Nope, what's going on? Oh, there, sorry. Okay, so these are the tiles that I already made. Made. I'm going to be using um, Deco Art products, and these were done using almost I'm um, almost all Deco Art products except for a couple little things. My idea, though, as I was thinking this week about what to do, because I was going to make two tiles the same color as this, but then I thought, hmm, maybe I should make them two, like, they just somehow this reminded me of a kind of a pop art kind of um, tiles, and I thought, hmm, what if they were like this, and I made two other faces here in two different colors, and then I thought, oh, and if I get an 8x8 eight eight canvas, I could actually glue them on and prop them up and it will look like a pop art uh, art pop art art does that make sense okay so I am going to do this ones in kind of the bluish tones just so they look different the idea is the same the same process everything's gonna be the same it's just the just the, um, the colors are gonna be different um, and then um, Oh, hi, Olga. So I thought to do it that way. So then um, we get some more, I don't know, so some more ideas. So the first thing I did is I used just some book paper, simple. I just wanted to get some texture. And I used some, this is a matte medium. It's a deco art matte medium. Because I'm on their uh, blogger outreach program, they send me products that I can... Um, I can use in my project and then they want me to basically do projects for them and advertise. So it's called a blogger outreach program and anybody can apply for it and they send you products and you just have to make projects with what they send you. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to, sorry, I need a sponge. So just want to get a little bit of texture here. Mm, this might be a bit dirty. Mm -hmm. And I don't want it even. I want it to be kind of uneven texture. Um, just to have it, you know, because none of our faces are that even. We can, I kind of call these the wrinkles, if that makes sense. Um, so, so I'm just going to put a little bit more this way and I just want a little bit of more paper this way. Oopsie, there we go. Now this one. Now with all gel, like because I want to put the acrylic, I could put the acrylic paint. I'm going to be using fluid acrylics after. I could put the acrylic pen, paint straight on, but I do prefer putting the gesso so it uh, it sticks on better. So this is like just common mixed media 101 to just put the, the gesso on top. So I'll show you guys what I did. Mm -hmm. I mean you can use any medium for this any matte, matte or gel medium I mean any gel medium I do prefer the soft ones to put the papers to stick the papers on but again you don't it doesn't have to be you can use the thick ones It'll just be a little bit harder to maneuver and Okay, there we go. Oops. And it's moving. So this is the first step. Just making sure I'm recording. Okay, there we go. I'm going to close this.
Just going to give it a little bit of a dry. And put a bit up here. And I mean, this dries really quickly, which is really nice. Then I just used a little bit of white gesso and I should maybe this way. Kind of covered the corners more and lightly in the center. I wanted it I wanted the um, the writing to actually show, but you can put it a thicker in the corners where the canvas was not covered. There we go. There we go. And if you put too much, no, don't fret. You can always take off, especially with gesso. So let's say you did it like this and it's too much. You can grab a wipe and just uh, take some of it off and to just leave it like a whitewash. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. We have the um, we have the first I'm gonna dry up the gesso. Now the nice thing about the I'm gonna be working with the fluid acrylics while they're it's drying. I'm gonna show you this is the Deco Art fluid acrylics. And today I'm gonna use, okay, so I'll tell you which ones I used for the other ones, so you know. I used uh, Royal Red, I mean, sorry, no, this is called Pyrrole Red, okay. This is not zooming in that well. Um, I used a Pyrrole Red. I used a Primary Yellow. I also used the Magenta, Primary Magenta. I used the Vermilion, which is like an orange-like and the cadmium, cadmium red hue and those I used oh I think I'll show you actually I think I mixed oh the cadmium, cadmium orange and then I took I had these two which is the gold and uh, this is the burnt sienna and I used it to just shade it with it today I'm going to use though the um, the blue colors and actually I realized that for the hair here I actually use the green too. I use the green gold and regular gold to just color in the hair. So I think I'm going to use the green again and the gold. I think we'll probably be using these. And I'm going to be using a few shades of blue. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them all, but I'll tell you which ones I have. I have the Phthalo Turquoise, the Ultramarine Blue. This is a Quinadrison Violet. There's the Cobalt Blue Hue. Phthalo Green Blue. And then there is the Cobalt Turquoise. So we'll see. I'm not sh actually sure. You guys are going to find out what I'm using as I'm using it with you. So, but, um, so for the background, let's start with the lighter ones. I think I'm going to go with turquoise and maybe some cobalt blue. So all I did is I did a few, it's really easy to paint with these. I just put a few drops. And then easily to just mix the color just kind of goes in really nicely, especially if you have the gesso on. So just you just paint and because it's fluid, it's very liquid and it's semi transparent. So you can still see the writing underneath, which is nice. I think I'm too far away. Let me just go this way. Okay, perfect. And which is nice, which is what I want, right? I want to have that semi-transparent look so I could, um, oops, so I could um, see the writing underneath. And I'm going to add a little bit of this beautiful cobalt blue. Not a lot, because I don't want it to be too much. No, I need more than that. Um, so, so you just want it to be in some areas. I mean, 
not everywhere. And of course I will be adding more colors to this. So don't forget to do the edges. I always forget the edges. Even though it's a flat canvas, I'm working on flat canvases, four by four flat canvases. Um, you don't want to forget the edges. That would not be fun. Okay, there we go. One more. All right. Good. So, I mean, this was basically it. I just lightly did it. it covers really nicely, and I just wanted it to be two-toned, which is hard to see here, but you can see that there's lighter areas here. And, yeah. Okay. So, the next step is easy. easy. So, no, I'm not known to draw. I'm, I can draw faces, but I'm not the best at it. There's some really good artists out there that just do amazing faces I try my best but I really like when they have um, stencils that look like faces and so this is a good one this is this one is from um, the deco art it's called hold on I will tell you the name it's called uh, strike a pose okay it's called strike a pose just making sure that um, it's called strike a pose and it's a uh, the, the dimensions are 12 by 3, so they're really small to do like little tiles like I'm doing right now or ATCs or things like that. Um, I did do another one. I another, have another one on, uh, on my YouTube that you can see. It's uh, that I used a crafter's workshop and there are many faces stencil and it's a little bit bigger and you can use that also as um, some kind of like, you know, so you don't have to like draw a face. So... I use these two, the sideways that I really like this sideway one. I was not so happy with this lady as much as I was happy with this one. I really like how this one turned out. So I'm going to use the sideways one here, but I think I'm going to go with a different face for the for the other one. I think I would like to try this one, which I haven't tried. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that will work out. So I'll tell you what I did with these. I used black modeling paste. Uh, Deco Art has this black modeling paste. Not many companies actually have it, which is really cool. And it's a good consistency, so it doesn't run below it. And you, if you're careful and you use very little of it, you'll be, you'll be sailing, basically. You'll be able to get it done really well. So, hold on. Okay, so this, I don't know if you guys like palette knives. This is one of my favorite palette knives, and I have a couple of them, and I've ruined them. So I just bought myself a new one. Okay, so already, I already ruined this one too, partially ruined. So I'm taking very little bit. And the reason why I'm taking a little bit is because I want to make sure that um, that I don't basically, it doesn't run underneath like it did um, in my other one. I mean, no, no, it didn't do that like it, like it could do, like it could be. So I don't want it to let it run. So slowly I'm going to... Paste with, well, I don't know why I sometimes say things that don't even make sense because I never it never ran so I don't know why it's saying that. It kind of have the consistency of gesso but it's a bit thicker which is nice. You see and then you have the face which is really nice. Good so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna pick I pick this one as the other one. And I think I'm going to make her more centered, only because the hair then will go on the sides. Okay, there we go. And being careful with this one too. Let's do one eye phase first. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that is okay. I mean, the nice thing is that you can always remove if it doesn't come out the way you like it. There you go. Left and there it is. Kind of. It didn't. It kind of ran inside the eye, which I don't like. Why did it do that? So annoying. Okay, let's see if I can remove it. Okay. Um. So what it did is that it, it, it drew inside my eye, in the eye here, and I don't like the, like it doesn't give you a, a definition of the eye. 
Let's see if I can take some of it out. It's here. There we go. Oh, I did it without having to redo this. So, so just cleaning this eye a little bit. Maybe I should use a little bit of a of a um, hold on. I'm thinking. Okay, this is what you do when you don't know what would be good to do. Okay, I'm just used. To put a little bit of a wipe. I just and just wiping the. Okay. Uh, that's getting worse. Okay, more or less, a little bit better. Okay, so now I have these two which are almost dry. I'm going to dry them up because I want to um, be able to do the hair part of it. And let me just put this here while it's drying because I want to clean my stencils so that I don't I guess everyone is on vacation today. Not a lot of people showed up today, I don't know why. Okay. So this is basically dry. And I'm going to use the same one. So this is why I always find like, okay, it's really cool to use stencils for something that they're not supposed to be used for. Like find new ideas of how to use And for that one I use, this is called uh, Dandelion stencil and you can see it's like these dandelions come out of it but I used it for the girl's hair I thought hmm this is a good idea to use so I thought it was um, he was just a little to make it a little bit different so I kind of placed it around here let me see I think I'm gonna turn it around this way okay there we go and yeah, because I just want to have enough hair here. And I'm going to use again the modeling paste and my, maybe use from here. Okay, just be careful of where the head is and where the eye and everything is. So. going over let's see oh and it went inside because of this um, you see what happened is like you can never like rely on anything because of this line here the stencil went underneath it I couldn't hold it oh well you have to work with what you have it's gonna be a more intense hair line than I want it but I have to work with what I have okay so, and the next one I'm using is, okay, so this is called a scribble stencil. And for me, this looks, although it looks like these are scribbles, um, I actually like this because it was, for me, it looks like curly hair. I don't know. That's the idea that I had in my head. So that's what it came up with. So I'm going to make these like curls coming out of this girl's hair. Let's see how we do it. There we go. There's one curl. Oh. I always like to think out of the box. I don't know. Somehow it makes me feel happy when I think out of the box. Um. So 
So there is the two curls on the sides. Oh, what is happening today? This is not supposed to be happening every time. It is annoying me. This is the second time. I don't know why there, there there's so many folds here. I guess maybe the I guess maybe having like little ridges when it was not such a good idea. So annoying. Mm -hmm. Just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. I don't want here at least I can clean it up and the other one I cannot. It has to stay the way it is. Mm -hmm. There we go. So there's the two curls. And um, I have to clean this part because it stained the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I want to do the curls on top. So let's think of how we're going to make them. So I have to kind of design the curls on top without being being careful not to screw everything up. Okay. So there we go. So there is uh, some curls here. I hope this one doesn't go underneath. Okay, that's good. And um, I might have to dry it in between. Let's see. These look like good curls right here. Or even here. This is good. I don't have to. All right. Oops, sorry, I'm not working off camera. You see how I defined the face? So that's more like um, the idea. I just want to put another curl over here and then I'm done. I think I'm done. Maybe I'll dry it up in between. Sorry guys, but I need to have it a little bit dry. Otherwise it's gonna look really bad. Now that I'm a little bit dry, I can add a couple more curls without worrying that I will smush everything. I think maybe this one is here. And I think I want some here too. Okay, what do you think of my curls? Are they looking good? Okay. At least now you can see kind of her face. So let me put this to dry again. I'm just gonna clean my stencils while these dry. Hi, Luciana. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, some of these are already dry. And so it was on the other side. It's hilarious how many wipes I go through. Most people don't understand why I ask them to bring wipes to classes and things like that. And so they actually like do the work and then they realize how much, how many wipes you actually end up using. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, there is one. I just want to just hate my stencils, especially during a class. And after you cannot use them, and I don't want to ruin the stencil. This is gonna have to stay the way it is. I'm just gonna clean it a little bit. All right. So I think we're done right now with the we're done with the modeling paste. And uh, I know. Okay. Okay, here we are. So we have the two ladies. Their faces coming along, right? I know, I need a container of water by my side. That's what I always think of that, but then, you know what? I just never do that. 
I never never do it but it's okay it helps my stuff to dry so it's not a big deal um, so the other thing I did I needed to like kind of fix the contour of the face a little bit to make sure that it actually looks like a face so I use something called it's a it's a black acrylic marker it's a it's this is a called a Posca pen um, I got them on Amazon I think the link is Lucy um, I mean Yasmin will put the link up soon or if not it's in the link and I basically had to look it up because I don't I'm not really good at drawing things especially making faces so I had to kind of look on the internet to kind of see how the face will be and um, I'm just copying the other one right now because I just didn't know and the nice thing is that I had to, I, this one kind of erases itself a little bit so if I made a mistake I just I just um, tried again what I did for this one I also added some um, um, how do you call these eyelashes um, so yeah so this one I added eyelashes too uh, so it would look a little bit more feminine and yeah so this is basically like this one was an easier face to make I don't know why I had a really hard time with the mouth in this one so this is why I didn't want to redo it um, but let's see how I work with this one this one might have given me just as many trouble so uh, Okay, so this is like I think. Oh yeah, this is, she's coming out. She thinks she's a little bit easier to do. I don't know if this is the correct line, but whatever. Yes, it, it is what it is. Um, she has a, a kind of a longer face, and I think I need to kind of. Ah, that's terrible. You see, this is why I just, I don't know. This is why I don't draw. This is why I, I just. Um, I think she has more like a sideways face and not like this. Ah. ah. Maybe I should have done the same ones again. Well, it is what it is. I don't know if I'm doing this, this her face correctly, but I am going to shade it a little bit, so that should be okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, oops. Okay, so there is the other face. I'm not sure about if it's she's correct or not. But she's kind of, I guess she is a little bit. She's kind of correct. I don't know. Maybe this, like this side of the face should have been different. Because she's a little bit of a sideways kind of thing. I think this line is not, not shouldn't be there. She just end there. It should just end right here. But again, I'm not an expert, so I don't. I'm not on faces. Okay, there we go. I think. Um, I think this is it. Okay, so that's good. So I think this is a face. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade her, shade them a little bit, um, and paint the curls and different things. So just for fun, let me get some paint brushes. Um, okay so I think I want to do put a little bit of purple in her and I'm going to and it's not working maybe I'll open it up so this is the um, Quinadrison no Queen Na Credone Violet and I'm gonna do sorry I'm just gonna paint around the face with the purple We just add a little bit of a contrast so 
So, yeah, I'm going to continue on. Is everybody there? It's so quiet today. It's so quiet in the chat today. Okay. And here. A good thing the color is kind of covering my mistakes. And I'm just going to add a little bit of purple to her hair too because um, I'm going to add a couple colors. So I want to kind of mix the colors up a little bit. And I think I'm going to use this darker purple, this tallow turquoise. I'm going to use it to actually um, um, kind of shade some areas. So what you want to do... is the darker areas of this face which is the outside to kind of you want to kind of shade them um, so it gives it a nicer like uh, effect when you're So the, the places to shade would be outside of the face, contour, around the eyebrows, and behind the nose, and right here. What I don't know what this little groove is, but um, if you know what I mean. What is the groove under the nose called? Um, that I'm not sure about. So uh, you see, like it kind of gives it a little bit more of a... Shaded um, face. Oops. Okay, so then there we go. Now let's give it the. What I like that the purple, what it helps with is that it helps um, kind of define the blue. So it, the purple helped me kind of differentiate where is the blue and where is the purple so and this one as like the darker areas are um, coming out of the hair kind of and maybe here underneath their nose a little bit whoops what is that that does not belong there. Okay, so as you can see, these are the two. Oh, I would have never known what it's called, Elaine. Thanks for <laughs> telling us. Now I want a little bit of the ultramarine. Such a beautiful color. And I think I want the hair to be ultramarine and a little bit of green to kind of tie it all in together. So, so basically I'm just painting with these fluid acrylics um, they're just perfect for you know giving it a light touch or going dark whichever way you want the more they're very they're highly pigmented different companies have them I just want to mix this one so the pigment comes out um, See, I, I use kind of the blue to hide. Oops, look how much pigment there is here. Oh, yay. Let me just use them for this one. Um, I use the blue a little bit to hide the mistakes that I made. So, I mean, paint can always do that. Just hide the mistakes you make. And... Okay, so this is the hair is going to be like kind of blue. So I mean, it is kind of a pop art kind of um, I have 
too much here. Pop art, art. Do I have to say art twice when it's pop art? I'm actually not sure about that. Pop art. Okay. Oops. So. So I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that Elaine. This part of the body underneath the nose is called the Fitrum. Fitrum? It doesn't have an L. No, Filtrum. Filtrum. Sorry, I didn't see the L there. Um, wasn't familiar with that word. Okay, so I am going to add a little bit of green here because the other canvas has green too. So I thought it would be a good idea to have and this is called the green green gold. And let me just wash my paintbrush a little bit. Okay. So I think Okay. looks very dark but it's actually not as dark as you think it just looks dark because of the f because of them um, because of the um, ultramarine but I'm putting the green and it's mixing really nicely with um, with the with the blue so oh, I like her hair so that's, oh, I guess you Google, <laughs> I guess Google, yes, Google is amazing and she Googled the word of what that part of the body was called. And I think I put too much green on this side, so I will use it for this side. when the computer um, I guess everybody's on vacation because like usually you have a bunch of people come in I was surprised surprised how many people came today but it's okay it's all good okay so oh, it came out a little bit darker than I thought. Is it just because, oh, there, I'm going to put more light here. So then you guys can see the ladies a little bit better. I want to put a little bit more purple here. Okay, I want to just add more purple here because it just looks too not dark enough. Okay, let me wash. I'm going to dry up a little bit because it's just too wet for me to add any more details. I'm just drying up if you have any questions. I need to add a little bit of light to this. Okay, so, so 
So I really love these Posca pens. They really go do well on mixed media. So I just want to kind of highlight um, these the, the little things that I made. They kind of some of them got hidden underneath and I'm being careful because the the modeling piece is a little bit still damp but I want to make sure I highlight the the black areas that got hidden and then I'm going to add white highlights and I find white really helps with um, bringing some you know kind of life and movement onto onto your work So here I'm just just highlighting these back on to make sure that I have the right things that are very sticky. And then I'm gonna use the white a little bit. And um, I'm gonna use the white to kind of um, do some highlights in the hair. And it will bring things together again. I also want to use some gold. Don't let me forget to use the gold. Oops, I don't know what this is. This is not over right here. So I'm using this Posca pen. You see how nicely it goes on paint? Well, I guess it's acrylic on acrylic, but it goes well on most surfaces which are nice and it comes in a set of markers of different colors so you can use and you can see there's the curly hair I am going to add some gold to it because so That way you can fix any with the white one you can fix any mistakes that you have might have made. And um, I want to. Oops. Okay, no, I think I will stick like that. This is nice too. to add a little bit of white highlights to the mouth but without getting on the black um, same with the eyes okay and now I'm going to add some of the gold and I think I might actually add it not the way I did I think I might add it with a pen instead of with the actual golden marker because you know what it's just easier to kind of to know where things are so I'm adding like the gold I'm adding some gold highlights into her hair and this helps kind of bring the goldness the, the the highlights onto it. So there she is. Yay. And then let's I got the gold highlights here. It's easier. I mean I could have used a paintbrush like I said with the actual this is a galaxy marker. It's not actually on one of the products that I put on the list. But I find like her face, the other area here, too dark. I think I might put a little bit of magenta there. Hold on one second. Let me find the right. This is the primary magenta, and I want to just find it too dark around the face. Let's lighten it up a little bit with a little bit of. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think it kind of sticks out more. Why should I have I used the... Oh, it's too much of a contrast now. No, I don't like it. Never mind. I think maybe the green needs to be here instead. I don't know. Let me play around with it. You see what happens because I'm not sticking to the same colors that I did before. I'm having a hard time with it. Maybe even a little bit of white gesso will do it. Let's see. Let's start with the white gesso first. Okay. Did it make it too pink? Let's see. It made it too pink, but at least it's sticking out more, and let's just, we'll put something on top of it. I'm not liking the, I'm not liking the dark, the darkness of it. Okay. So now I can at least maybe go and do something, put something else instead. Let's see. What color? Maybe I will put the green. Hopefully this time, yeah, I think this will look, oh yes, much better. I should have let it dry, but it doesn't matter. So this, oops, at least now it's like kind of, you can see the face better. Um, and since this other green kind of mixed with the blue before, it doesn't look like it's the same one I had just used. Yeah, I like the green. That's good. Okay, that's good. Let's just go. I think she needs more green here. All right. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Let me just dry her out. Dry, dry these up. And I wanted the curling. I think I screwed up the curls here. So I'm going to fix those. Yeah, I think I screwed up the curls a little bit here, so I want to kind of fix these so they make them look like they're part of the canvas and not out of it. Yeah, that's better. You don't want to, the curls kind of disappeared here. All right, so that's good. And now, um, I added a little bit of stamping, very little bit. I used um, this script stamp. I think it's the Royal Menagerie from um, Prima. And just a little bit of a script. It can be any script. I just did a little bit of stamping. The, the nice thing is that you can see the writing below, but only in the face. And the rest is kind of covered, so it makes it look like just you got it there just on the face. I think I'm doing it backwards. Uh, I'll show you the stamping from a close-up and you can see also the the face so I'm just gonna show this so if you can see there is um, oof, what happened to the mouth here I have to fix that uh, you can see the writing in her face and the stamping but not the the actual uh, everywhere else like wherever we had it and mm -hmm. Hold on. I don't know if you noticed, but the mouth is a bit screwed up here. I don't know what happened. Okay. All right. That's a little bit better. I don't know what had happened there. Um, 
open one sec. The other thing I did is I did a little bit of, um, I took the uh, a black gelato. And you can do this with anything. It just works really well with the black gelato. And just to mark the, um, to make a little like a uh, frame around the actual poster. And I, I do want it not to be like kind of dark because we're going to put it in that, like I said, in the, the glue them and a foursome as a pop art art, pop art. God, I keep on saying it double. And um, I really like the deco art stencils. I mean, I love stencils in general. Um, the Crafters Workshop, I do have some that I used um, on a video today. Okay, so there is the two, um, the faces. And the last thing I wanna do is just do a little bit of, um, hold on, let me close these things because they're making a mess. I used a Posca pen or you can use any acrylic marker pen to do this, to just splatter a little bit on it. Oops, hold on. I'm using the white one and let it come out, like flow a little bit out. Doesn't always work. If you know, I'll resort to white gesso. And it doesn't always. It is very annoying when it doesn't work, especially on a show. And it's not working. Okay, I'll just use gesso. So I, when in doubt, use gesso. Um, I'm gonna use a splattering brush, splatter brush. It kind of looks like a, and there we go. Just put a little bit of gesso. Okay. And then put a little bit of water, one squirt, and That big blob I want to take out, not liking the big blob, right in the middle of her nose, a big blob. That I'm not liking. There we go. Okay, let's just do this one more time. I just re just want to do a little bit more on her face. I think I'm going to bring these back and I'm going to create a little bit more splatters on these ones. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna, okay, perfect. All right, so now we have the four of them. What do you guys think? So I think it should be like this, right? I should have maybe have the same face. No, that cannot be. It has to be, how does it go? It has to be like side by side, it has to be like this. Would have been cool if it was four of these of the same kind, right? There we go. Yay. Yeah, I like that. Or no, maybe like this. Yeah, that's good. Looks weird that there are different faces. Should have done the same faces twice. But, and I'm thinking we could put them. Let me just bring this up. And I can, I'm just debating whether or not to paint the, to paint the one underneath in a black gesso so you don't see white underneath it. But there we go. So this is the, the, or the pop art that I would like to do. Mm-hmm. I guess I could stick them also on like cardboard. I don't need to waste a canvas, but it's just easier because this is already the right size. What do you guys think? There we go. It's too much. It has too much sprinkles on her eye. Okay, so this is it. I mean, I hope. 
I hope you guys liked it. Now let me just um, turn around. Oops, hold on. Let me just turn you guys around. Let me just, um, I'll stop the recording. Okay, hi. Thank you so much for coming and uh, seeing what I made today. Uh, next week we have Yasmin and she'll be doing another project. Thank you so much for watching Artist Live. Bye.